Hello and welcome to exercise one. In this exercise, we're going to use the very basic features of 3D Lip Plan. To get started, we're going to go ahead and give our Lip Plan a name. I'm going to call mine exercise one. We'll hit the little button that says create. Now 3D Lip Plan is actually creating the Lip Plan on our server. And from here, we've got four different ways that we can start a Lip Plan. The very quickest and easiest way to start a simple Lip Plan is the Quick Lift Setup. So we're going to focus on that one at first. So the next page is going to ask us some really basic questions. How much weight are we lifting? Well, we want to lift 5,000 pounds. And how high are we lifting? This is how high you want the load to be off the ground or the load elevation. So we want this to be 50 feet off the ground. And how far are you lifting will be our lift radius. So we want to lift this at a 70 foot lift radius. We'll go ahead and hit the little button that says search now. And that will take us to our search setup page. We can ignore this page because we've already told it the location where we want the crane and the location where we want the load. So we'll go ahead and just hit the forward arrow. And on this page, we can go in and put in any clearances that we wanted to um, make sure that we were okay with. Um, the only one that I'm really concerned with on this exercise would be our hook clearance or our two block clearance, the distance from the tip of our boom down to our hook block. So we'll go ahead and put 10 feet in there. And then we'll move on to the next page. Now we can search all of the cranes we have in our database, all the cranes that you have in a crane grouping if you have made one, all the cranes from a specific manufacturer or specific cranes. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all the cranes from one of my crane groups. Now we can filter out what results actually display when it runs the search. So if we didn't want to see any lattice cranes, we could uncheck that. If we didn't want to see any over the front or over the rear charts, we could go ahead and uncheck restricted range. So anything that you uncheck here, when we get to the results page, it will not list any of those um, configurations for you. Now we have another option for search options. If you have a customer that tells you you need to be 70% of the crane's load chart or better, you can go ahead and put that in here. And the only results that 3D Lip Plan will display are those that are 70% of the crane's load chart or better. I'm going to go ahead and just leave this at 100. We could also have it find best result for each crane or find multiple. Now, if we leave it on best result, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the best result. It's just the very first one that it comes to in 3D Lip Plan. So once it finds a configuration uh, inside the load charts that can do the lift, it's going to skip searching the rest of the load charts for that crane and move on to the next crane. So if you wanted to see every counterweight or every jib, um, every outrigger position, you want to make sure that you have find multiple results selected per crane. But I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on find best result and let it give me the very first one that it comes to. So now it's searching all the cranes that I have in my crane group. I found 36 different ones that could do it. So if we go through and we look at them, we could select any of the ones from the list here. It's going to give us the name of the crane, our boom and jib combination, the range, the base, the counterweight, and the chart capacity. Now, if we want to see a little bit more information, we could check show details, and that's going to uh, add our percentage of chart capacity, the lift radius, tip height, and boom angle. So let's go ahead and we'll just select the uh, link belt HTC 8650. So now you'll see we've got our crane on the job site. We can zoom in using the scroll wheel of our mouse. We could pan around holding the right mouse key, or we could look at it from any angle holding our left mouse key down. Now we do also have some uh, default viewpoints. If you wanted to look at it from the top, you could simply select top. Or just to move it in the 3D angle, we can hold our left mouse key down. Now we could also lock that view in place, so it will always remain right on that view um, no matter what we do. We could use the controls down here to hoist up, say, hoist down. So you'll notice as I click the little down arrow for the hook height, it is hoisting down five feet at a time. We could also swing it five feet at a time. We could boom up and boom down five feet at a time. And when we do boom up and boom down, it's going to go ahead and monitor our lift radius, our tip height, and our capacity. So it'll let us know when we get out of chart capacity. 
So at this point, it's really simple. We want to just go ahead and print out our lip plan. We'll go to the little page that says print. And we'll be on our print setup page. You can select whether you want to show all the crane information or not. Um, so go ahead and print it. We'll just hit the forward arrow. Now we've got a little camera button here. We could move this around um, anywhere. I usually like to line the camera button over the crane. And if you don't have your, um, your web page zoomed in, you'll see usually a little um, dotted line going around. That's going to show you the print area. Now if you wanted to print this in black and white, you could leave it on white background. If you wanted to print it in color, you could change that to color, hit update, and now we'll go ahead and print it in color. So to go ahead and capture this image and print our lift plan, we'll just hit the little button that looks like a camera. That's going to do a screen capture for us. And then it will take us to the next page where we can actually click the link here that says open the print page. And then this is what our lift plan is going to look like. All the information for the crane and the load will be in the upper left. The image we selected will be in the center of the page. We can load it up with our logo if we want to. The uh, description of our lift plan and then any notes that we want to make. To print this out, we can just go over to the right area here, right click, and go to print, and then we'll just select the printer that we want to print to. And that's all there is to it. Thank you very much, and we'll look forward to uh, talking to you in the next exercise. Thank you so much.